Run your own race. Hello, John again, Marketing for Owners, the podcast where I help you create your self-marketing company. What that means is that we set up simple marketing systems that, or I help you create your own simple marketing systems rather, because it's dead easy to do, by the way. And when you do that, it means that your company will create leads auto-magically, 24-7, while you go away and do things you would rather be doing, or things you prefer doing, or things you should be doing. It's all clever stuff. It works. I've been in business for 32 years. Yes, before the internet. Yes, there was stuff before the internet. But I've learnt a lot. And... This is what I do in my businesses. They are not dependent on me and they have marketing systems. Anyway, we'll get to that. So I'm going to advise you to run your own race. Now, it's another Olympics-inspired title. And it, it came to me, uh, the inspiration came when I was watching the Cycling Pursuit Race. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's where a, a line of four cyclists, in the men's at least, they go around a track of velodrome inside and they just go round and round for a few thousand metres at full speed and they kind of slipstream each other and they swap who's in front and it's all clever stuff. And they try and catch, a, one team starts on both sides of the track and they try and catch the other ones. But what happens is uh, sometimes one of them can go out very fast, much a bit of a surprise for the others. Now do, do the others then change their tactics to react or... Do they, as in the case being British, the Great British team, the Great Britain team, who win the gold medal virtually every time, um, or do they stick to their game plan? And this is what I want you to think of in your marketing. So it's all down to planning and strategy. The most important thing in your marketing, bar none, is to have a strategy and a plan and then goals. That means that you are doing something based on your strategy. That means that no matter what your competition do, or what other people say, or how things change, unless it's something incredibly dramatic, you should see through to the end of your plan. Because when you set it, it all made sense, you'd analysed it, it, it's all sensible it's all going to work out so you should not then be swayed by what others do you should stick it out follow it through get to the end see the end game and that's what happens with uh, with those cyclists in a few cases uh, so they planned out to build a strategy to follow a time around the track so that they would beat the world record. Now sometimes the opposition, knowing the British team were better, would go out with a slightly different strategy and go out fast so they would appear to be ahead. However, the British team just stuck with it and while we're all watching, nervous as anything, thinking, oh no, even the commentators are thinking, are saying, oh no, (laughs) they may not win. The British team know that the opposition are not capable of going that fast and they will tire. They have the confidence in their strategy. They stick it out, they don't panic, they see it through, they win. And this is the same with yourself. So many other people start, so many people in business, they start doing something and then see what someone else is doing and think, gosh, that looks great, we should do that. But that's the same as the, as the old internet marketing. It's looking for the, it's the new shiny object, the newest thing, the latest fad. It's just simply not needed. Don't worry about it. Just stick to your game plan. And this will apply on everything. Your, your goals, if you're thinking, well, hang on, what if something major changes? Well, your goals... Uh, you're going to have long-term goals and then they're going to be broken down into shorter-term goals to get there. So as you're pushing these shorter-term goals, which may be one month at a time, they may be 90 days, once you achieve those, then you can review what you've just achieved and you can review where they fit in with a longer-term goal. Because, so, for example, a a one-year goal should be broken down into 
90 day chunks, that's four of them to achieve because a, a one year goal is going to be difficult, it's going to be overwhelming. Break it down into, um, reverse engineer it down into four quarters and then reverse engineer each quarter into three monthly goals and to see where you are and to see if you're progressing and getting there. So after those 90 days, you can review it. You can look at what someone else has done or doing and you can think, should that affect what we're doing long term? It may be something you're doing online. It may be affected by what Google does or Facebook does or change like that, in which case that's the time to review it. But don't interrupt what you're doing. Get to the end, complete, and then do this on the review. Okay, simple as that. I'm keeping this short and sweet today because I've got something cooking in the oven and it'll be ready in a minute. <laughs> um, today is Thursday, so time for a drive time podcast. And this one's going to be slightly different. Um, this is by a gentleman called Jerry uh, Colonna. It's the Reboot. It's the Reboot podcast. Uh, their website is at reboot.io. And it involves a sort of startup leadership. So it's quite inspiring. It involves, it's a startup, involves, is consists of winning and losing and ups and downs. And it, he interviews people, I think it's weekly, uh, comes out about 40 minutes or so very very good quality good chat but he talks to people about the ups and downs about so it's not all about the success it's about how people get there and it's the real life and that's what I like about it it's real life down and dirty what can go wrong what can go well but real life so it's 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 quite inspiring I find also tomorrow Friday we have a, a super one for you in our Ones to Watch. She is British. She's wonderful. Uh, her name is Sarah Williams. She has won awards for a podcast. as where I met her. She's great. She has Tough Girl Challenges. And it's very, very different. Her business is very, very different from anything I've seen before. And I think it's wonderful. And her job, or what she does, is to inspire girls and women to do more and to further themselves and what an what a fantastic thing to do so listen tomorrow so check out uh, jerry colonna's uh, one today so uh, <coughs> check out the reboot podcast but tomorrow check out our ones to watch our friday edition there's one every friday and wednesday is the expert interview series and then have yourself a good weekend after that i'll be back on monday 